My family, I am hoping from the bottom of my heart that Prince Harry read this byline Times exclusive. There is so much information. And my family, I want to read you one part whereby I hope that Prince Harry Meghan have seen this stuff. I really, really hope. You know, of course they have lived through this all experience, my family. This hounding, these attacks. Of course they have lived through it all. But my family, I hope that they are reading this. My family, let me read you this part in particular. And I quote, No one in the farm, in the royal family, wanted that stuff about my family, how staff were briefing against Harry Meghan, Williams people, to end up in a courtroom. Harry and Meghan were expendable, but the heirs and the wives were not. I want to read you again what was said. Harry and Meghan were expendable, but the heirs and their wives were not. This is how, from the Bilan exclusive, how the farm views Prince Harry. My family, when I say the farm, I say Charles. I say, I mean Prince William. I mean K. Morton. I mean Camilla. But mostly Charles and William. Because Charles is the monarch. William is the heir. So my family, they viewed Harry and Meghan as expendable. That's how they viewed Harry and Meghan. My family, you know, I am thinking about what Prince Harry said, you know, in an interview promoting his memoir spare. He said that despite all of what happened, there is a family there. There's a family, you know, in the royal family. My family, I am sorry to Prince Harry, but I just can't see it. I just can't see it. I just can't. Because how does your family speak about you this way? And I quote once again, the byline Times exclusive. Harry and Meghan were expendable. But the heirs and their wives were not. Your father, Pa, your brother, Willie, views you, Harry, and Harry's wife, Meghan, as expendable. How can anyone call that a family? You know, my family, I feel for Prince Harry. I feel like genuinely in his heart, he really believes that there is a family despite what has happened, you know, to them, to Harry and Meghan in their own family. I really feel and believe that somehow, some way, Prince Harry does believe indeed that there is you know, a family. But, Harry, I'm sorry to tell you this. No brother, no father views a son or a brother as expandable. My family, expandable. No father or brother views their son or their brother as being expandable. My family, no one can say that to you, can think that way about you. No one who loves you thinks this way about you. And don't forget Charles' first address as king. Well, but he said, much love to Harry and Meghan as they spend their lives overseas. My family, he said, much love. And they tell me, like, oh, Charles' heartwarming gesture to Harry and Meghan. And my family, we have learned that my family, Charles, called Harry, telling him, don't bring Megan to Balmoral while abusing the mother of Harry's kids, while abusing Harry's wife. So my family, clearly, when he said, much love 
to Harry Meghan, he never ever meant it. So focus on the other part. As they spend their lives overseas. Charles, clearly, my family, based on what is being said, he viewed Harry Meghan as expendable. No wonder the guy did not even care what he was doing to his own son when he stripped his son of his security. When my family, he knew of the threats facing his son because I am sure that Charles had access to intelligence. He knew. He knew that the threat level, you know, towards Harry Meghan, towards Prince Harry, my family, and Meghan were at the same level as the monarch. Charles knew that. But regardless of knowing that, still, he stripped Harry Meghan off of their security. And my family, I want you to hear what was said, you know, on Jeremy Vine's show a while back. Because I find this extremely, extremely important, my family. I find what was said at Jeremy Vine's show extremely, extremely important, my family. Everybody knows who started the campaign against Harry Meghan. And everybody knows why. Byline Times also has covered this part extensively. And my family, please kindly hear exactly what was said, you know, at Jeremy Vine's show, my family. You can only hear this, my family. No, absolutely not. No, I mean, and, and, and if, we're to, if we're talking about why this whole, you know, Harry Meghan thing started, it started because uh, several years ago, if you if you cast your mind back, the, the Queen was and always will be the most popular royal, but second to that, was Harry. Harry. It wasn't William and Kate. It yeah. was not William and Kate. And when Harry when, when Harry and Meghan became such a popular couple, it put everybody's noses out of joint. The establishment wanted to retain the monarchy as it was, yeah. to boost William and Kate. And the media, the Daily Mail and the Telegraph in particular, fed those lines. Well, drip, I, drip, I, drip, I, drip, drip, I agree drip. with everything until you said the last bit. I think, I think that... The, My family, the it is not the first time now, whenever someone is mentioning exactly what happened to Harry Meghan with the smear campaign, with the lies being, you know, spoon-fed to Daily Mail about Harry Meghan by the palace, with the royal family, it is not the first time whereby you see Jeremy Vine being like, no, 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 stop there. You know, I agree with you until the last part. It's not the first time. Also, the other time, when my family, it was said, that the anti Harry and Mega stories came from William and Kate's Kensington Palace. Jeremy Vine also attempted to stop the woman who was saying that. And my family, he's doing it again. And my family, this means these hosts of these TV shows in the UK, like Jeremy Vine, are also part of this agenda against Harry Meghan. An agenda of hate. This mere campaign against Harry Meghan clearly fully backed by the royal family. You know, as you've heard, the Queen was very famous and then it was Prince Harry. William and Timothy were not even close to Prince Harry and when Harry met Meghan, my family, both of them, you know, they have so much star power and so, so much influence, my family. And the institution wanted to keep the firm exactly how it is. By going after Harry and Meghan. Because they saw Harry and Meghan's star power and their influence as being a threat to the hierarchy of their own family. And my family, Byline Times, has said the exact same thing. The exact same thing. And my family, let me read you exactly what was said by the Byline Times exclusive, my family. It has got so much information that I could spend even the entire day 
winning this stuff, but my family, I will not be done. My family, the information they have is just, well, research my family. A good, good research was done here. And this is what I call reporting without fear or favor. My family, now hear what happened behind the scenes. More details of my family, the dirty agenda, the sick agenda the palace had against Harry Meghan. My family, here is what happened. And I quote, that was deemed highly undesirable by the offices of Prince Charles and Prince William because there was always lots of horse trading going on with the editors and their correspondence to ensure favorable coverage and protections when scandals broke. The source continued, no one wanted that stuff to end up in a courtroom. Harry and Meghan were expendable, but the heirs and their wives were not. And it set a chill through Clarence House for the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall at the time, you know, Charles and Camilla, and Castle Palace for Prince William and Timothy. But Harry and Meghan, particularly Harry, were very keen to get to the bottom of it all, of what was happening. And my family, there is something that Harry said in his memoir that I would like to read of what was going down, my family, which Harry told Prince William exactly what was happening. My family, sadly, at the time, I don't think or believe that Prince Harry believed that William was behind everything, that he was the one who my family was instructing his staff to go after Harry Meghan. I don't believe that at the time Harry believed it was William. But I do believe that right now, Harry does know it is Prince William. It's always been him going after Harry and especially Meghan, the woman that Harry loves. My family, please clearly hear what was said by Prince Harry in his memoir spare before I continue the Byline Times exclusive. I was praised for a lecture. It did not come. Willie was subdued. He wanted to listen. For the first time in a long time, my brother had me out and I was so grateful. I told him about one past staff member sabotaging who? Megan. Sabotaging who? Megan Markle. He was there to sabotage Megan. Plotting against who? Megan. And my family what did Megan's lawyer, Jenny Afia, say? She said that my family, there are peers from what I have seen. I'm quoting Jennifer, Jenny Afia's, you know, words in the Harry Megan documentary. She said, it appears from what I have seen that there was a war against Megan by the palace, by the royal family. You know? And Megan said, you know, they were feeding me to the wolves. And my family, Harry says, I told William about one past staff member sabotaging Meg, plotting against Megan. I told him about one current staff member whose close friend was taking payments for leaking private stuff to the press about Meg and me. And my family, that is Prince William's guy, Christian Jones. My family, his partner, Callum Stevens, was taking money from the sun tablet to do what? To leak private stuff to the press about Meghan and Harry. And my family, Harry then tells us this. My sources on this were above reproach, including several journalists and barristers. Plus, I made a visit to New Scotland Yard. Willie frowned. 
He and Kate had their own suspicions. He looked into it. We agreed to keep talking. My family, no one knows after that. No one knows what happened later. You know, on William looking into what was happening. No one knows. No one knows. No one knows. No one knows what happened. My family, you won't ever hear UK Media, Piers Morgan, having a discussion about this part, you know, of Harry's memoir spare, about what Harry said. You won't ever hear them talking about this part. I can tell you, you won't hear it in my family. You won't hear it. You know, the royal family chose a private secretary over Prince Harry. Why? To protect the guy who was leaking and briefing against Harry Meghan, whose partner was taking payments to sabotage Meghan Markle. The agenda against Meghan was very clear. Anyone with an ounce of common sense can see that indeed there was an agenda against Meghan Markle. And my family, I'm so sorry that Meghan had to deal with this. I am so so sorry that Harry and Meghan have had to deal with this. And my family, let me continue with the Byland Times exclusive my family. You know? So my family, William and Charles never wanted what was happening. This business of horse trading stories going on to get into a courtroom. And they were willing to cut Harry off. They cut Harry off just to protect the person briefing against Meghan. My, my family, to Prince Harry, I really hope he watched this video. I'm sorry, Harry, but I don't see a family here. I, I don't. I really just don't. I'm sorry, but I don't. This is not a family. This is not a family. You know, and I do hope that Meghan... He's protecting her mental health. Because after what they did to her, my family, those people really wanted to destroy Megan completely. My family, I'm glad that they failed. I am glad that they failed. But sadly, as you all know by now, Harry and Megan did lose a child. My family, don't forget also, that Prince William rewarded Jason North the person who issued a statement against Megan in court gave him a top royal honor. And my family, he ought to tell me that William never knew what was happening. The sabotaging of Meghan Markle. He knew. But clearly, when Harry in his memoir was speaking to Prince William about staff members sabotaging Meghan Markle, you know, plotting against Meghan, my family clearly, Harry never believed that William was a part of that. That William was responsible for all of that. But I believe that now he knows. William showed his face. When my family he authorized his employee to issue a statement against Megan in court. And my family, that exposed him completely. It exposed Prince William's face. And no wonder Megan said, It's your brother. It's your brother. It's your brother. It's your brother. No wonder Megan said that. And I won't ever forget Megan's words. It's your brother. It's your brother. It's your brother. It's your brother. It's him. You know, the level of pain that Harry's extended in our family, from William to Charles, have put what they've put Megan through. My family, it's, it's hell. It's a hell, my family. And I hope that Megan can heal from the pain that they have caused her. My family, here is what was said, my family, you know, from the Byline Times exclusive. And I quote, William wanted, you know, sorry, Harry wanted to know how their private information kept being spun into negative headlines in the biggest newspapers. He and Megan had been stung very badly by the timing by the timing and manner of Wooten's reporting on their plans 
to live part of the year abroad, which wasn't even a new idea, as the queen had previously given her blessing for a move to South Africa, which had not worked out. And then detailed intelligence had come up to suggest that Dan Wooten was playing the partner of a Kensington Palace official who had a lot of access for stories about his family. And Harry seemed, seemed pretty determined to get to the bottom of it. In my family, a view was quickly taken within the royal households that everything needed to be brought under control, the removal of the transition funding, which Prince Charles knew was his son's only lifeline to keeping safe, was considered a very effective way of trying to bring Harry and Meghan to heal in the UK, but it did not work. One other source explained the mechanics of the royal institutions competing media strategies, my family. And they told by the times, and I quote, you need to understand the competition that is constantly in play between the offices of the senior members of the royal family. Each has their own staff and their own agendas. And the primary objective is to protect the institution of the monarchy. Charles and Camilla are obviously at the top of the tree. And were even when the Queen was alive. William and Kate next. Anything that threatens the hierarchy or the public perception of it is a problem to be dealt with. And quite often these problems are tackled through the tactical use of the press. Of the press. My family at the beginning of this you know, video really. I've shown you a clip of, you know, a woman saying exactly what happened about the hierarchy. When my family, Harry, Meghan, you know, were a couple, my family, when they became a couple, they had so much influence in my family. They've had so much influence together and immense star power. And my family, according to the farm, and the institution, when that hierarchy is threatened, when the power dynamics are, you know, tilting, they don't like that. They don't like that, my family. But my people are more interested in Harry Meghan than they are on William and Kim Walton. They don't like that. So what do they do? They use the press to smear Meghan and Harry, with Meghan being the main target. Don't forget, in Harry's memoir spare, Harry tells us William and Charles never understood even why Harry fled Britain, because Harry was never the main target of the abuse of the smear campaign. The palace was actively sabotaging who? Meghan, because it's her whom they wanted to, to leave Prince Harry. They wanted to abuse Meghan out of Harry's life. But they wanted Harry to stay. But they wanted Meghan gone. Even right now, despite the fact that Harry and Meghan have been living in California for more than three years now, still, the attacks have never ever stopped. Still, the farm keeps on going after Harry and Meghan and the kids. And anyone who is around Prince Harry Meghan. And my family, it's so wrong what they are doing. It is so, so very wrong what they are doing, my family. And my family, please clearly hear what happens when Harry Meghan, their star power increased, even defeating William and Kimberton, even beating William and Kimberton by far. Here is what the palace then did. Here's what William did to Meghan. 
and I quote, quite often these problems are tackled through the tactical use of the press. The offices of each family member have their own relationships with the very top people at the newspapers. If there are messages that they wish to express, then it will usually be through the mail, mail on Sunday, and the sun, or less frequently, to the Times and also the Sunday Times. And these papers continually report briefings spoon-fed from the palace without questioning them. So my family, that lie that, you know, Megan had made Kate cry. Camilla to me is a liar, never questioned it. She just was briefed and told it's Megan who made Kate cry. And my family, she just wrote that. That lie, a lie that never even made sense because the palace had an agenda against Meghan Markle. And my family, we have seen the power of, uh, of white women when they cry my family. Look at what happened to Ava Evans. When Dan Wooten and uh, this other guy, even forget, Lawrence Fox, my family, Lawrence Fox, that's his name. When they were hurling misogyny, you know, comments full of misogyny towards Eva Evans, my family, there was so much backlash. And right then and there, people began being suspended and then losing their jobs. But Megan, on the other hand, you have media outlets like Good Morning Britain bring in Thomas Markle to hurl comments full of misogyny towards Megan Markle. But then, what happens? No backlash, no nothing. No backlash, no nothing. No action that is really, really taken by family. And that's why I was so pissed off and angry. But my family, Kate, the palace lied and said that it was Megan who made Kate cry. When they know fully well, it was Kate who made Megan cry. And my family, it's so wrong once again what they put Megan through. It's so wrong. It is so, so wrong what they put Megan through. It's, it's evil what they put Megan through. And my family, clearly, once again, just as Harry said in an interview with Ansel Cooper, the palace is briefing the press. Harry knows this. He knows it, my family. Now he knows. Now he knows fully well what goes down and what happens. Now he knows indeed that it was Prince William himself who was sabotaging Meghan Markle and William showed the entire world it was him when he authorized his own employee to issue a statement against Meghan in court. Jason Knopf. And then rewarded that employee. Harry say there's a family in there. But I'm sorry, Harry. I don't see it. I, I, I really don't see it. I'm sorry, but I really don't see it. No? And my family... Here is what is also being said. And this is why it was a problem when Christian Jones was named in those legal letters. And whether it was true or not true, that information that Christian Jones collected, William's guy Christian Jones collected, in the course of his work was ending up in the sun was not really the point. The point is that the royal family is doing deals and trades with the press all the time for favorable coverage and protection and to maintain public relevance. The naming of Christian Jones threatened to shine a light on the entire unethical relationship between the institution and the press barons. And that could not be tolerated and had to be punished. And my family, it appears that the monarchy chose to side with a press secretary over Prince Harry. My family, that's what I wanted you to hear because I haven't covered 
this part. Now, my family, you know, I feel for Prince Harry. I feel for him. I really, really feel for him because my family, in his heart, maybe, because of some good moments he may have had with his father and brother, maybe he sees a family. But I'm sorry, I, I don't. When someone views you and tells that, you know what, you know, Harry and Meghan are expendable, but the heirs and their wives are not. My family, that person doesn't, doesn't care about you one bit. I mean, how does anyone view your brother or your brother's wife as being expendable? You know, how? How? Because of jealousy? You know, my family, instead of harnessing the power and the influence of Harry and Meghan's star power and using it to their advantage, instead of the whole family doing that, they chose to, to try and abuse Meghan out of Harry's life, and they have never stopped trying to do that, my family, to abuse Megan out of Harry's life, my family. That's what the farm keeps on trying to do. And my family, we, co we condemn the abuse of Megan Markle, and we demand it stops. We demand the institution of the monarchy stop the attacks and the abuse of Megan Markle. It's so wrong what they're doing. It's so wrong. It's unethical. It's immoral. And my family, we hope that this stops. And Harry, I feel for you. I really, really feel for you. But I don't see a family here. You may see a family, but I don't see a family. I'm so sorry, Prince Harry, but I just don't see a family here. I don't see it. The family that I see is what you have in California, in Montecito with Megan. You, Harry, Megan, Archie, Lilibet. Now, that is a family. That is a family, a real family, a real loving family. A father and mother who are protected protecting their kids from the UK media who clearly are interested in exploiting them, who are interested in causing trauma and pain to them, who are interested in using them as scapegoats. Harry and Meghan, you two are parents who love your kids. Now that is a family. What you have is a family. But what is back there in the role fold, as they call it my family, that ain't a family. It ain't a family. And you have some individuals calling for Harry to go back to the raw fold. Not to have left the raw family. Because why? Because they want to be entertained. They want drama. They want raw stories at the, expense of her, at the expense of Harry's happiness. And my family, all these attacks that continue, my family, we have also come to learn that my family, it continues because the palace consents to the attack and the abuse of Meghan Markle. My family just can't hear this part, which I mentioned even yesterday. My family, let me read it for this, you know, video of my family. The royal family never thought that the trial period would work and tried everything to make it fail, starting with the removal of Harry and Meghan security. And then signing off on a 12-month assault, then signing off on a 12-month assault by the UK press on Harry and Meghan and everyone around Harry and Meghan, everyone in Harry and Meghan's orbit. So my family, that also explains why everyone who is even seen with Harry and Meghan is also targeted by the UK media. It's all approved. By the royal family, William, by Charles. They're behind it. And that's why it never stops. That's why the targeted harassment and hounding of Prince Harry and Meghan never stopped. Never stopped my family. That's why Harry and Meghan were chased in New York. It's all signed off by the royal family. My family, it, it, it's so wrong what they put Harry and Meghan through. It's so wrong. You know? And Harry may see a family there, but my family, I don't see a family there. I see a family in Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lilibet, and Doria. I see a family there. That's where I see a real family who love each other. Parents who protect their kids always and forever. Protect them, love them, care for them, think about them always. Now there is where I see a family. But Harry, I don't see a family from where you come from, from Charles, from, you know, William. And my family also, 
to Prince Harry, never ever allow the place whereby you come from destroy the family that comes from you. That's Meghan, Archie, Lipidana, and Dorela Glenda. Because still, they're after Harry. Still, they're after Meghan. They're after them to try and destroy what they have, their love, their bond, their marriage. And my family, I hope that the farm never ever succeeds. My family, someone who loves you, pa, or your brother, can never ever view your son or your brother as being expendable. Someone who loves you just won't see you that way. He won't. He won't, my family. He won't. You know, and I feel for Harry. I feel for him. I feel for him. You know, I feel for Prince Harry. And I hope that Prince Harry never ever goes to beg for anything from Charles or William. Those people don't mean him well. And I hope they read this exclusive. I really hope. I really hope even Harry was just reading this first edition of Byline Times. I'm hoping he read it. A family who loves you does not view you as expendable. Your brother who loves you, who says he loves you, can never ever view you as expendable. A father, pa, can never view you as expendable. You know, William told Prince Harry in his memoir, Harold, Harold, I want you to be happy. And the same guy, his people, his staff, are breathing against Harry Meghan. The same guy, Yes or no, it was a statement against Meghan Markle. So you want your brother to be happy at the same time you are trying to destroy his marriage. <sighs> My family, you know, this guy, William, does not mean well for his brother, Prince Harry. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't. The guy just wants to destroy his own brother. My family, I hope that he never ever succeeds my family now you tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed currently i like to hear your view family it is also bad that also people who are around harry megan are targeted by the uk media it's so it's so it's so bad it shows just how toxic the situation truly is my family i hope that harry megan keep the distance as far away as possible from toxicity that is the institution my family as far away as possible May Harry Megan thrive and keep on, you know, thriving just outside of that toxic institution my family back in the UK. My family, tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed currently. I like to hear your opinion, family. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipidana, and also Dory Raglan. And may no weapon formed against Harry, Megan, Archie, and Lipidana ever prosper my family. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you all the forever and may God bless you all my family may god bless you all hello members of this Family tv first of all i want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel we don't take it for granted that you support this channel i want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices supporting prince harry and megan showing them love love will always triumph over evil and for that i say thank you Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.